right, so we're reaching the industrial era right away. Um, no, thank you, everyone. Stay for now. Uh, we got the navigation. That was the uh, technology I was looking for to get advantage of the well. Um, now we can probably go for monarchy, especially because we have two cities and in both cities we have access to die. Um, so it's very important. So we have our first uh, army of catapults ready. Um, we can probably start working. I don't want to really focus in the um, wonders for now. Um, because we still don't know what is the rest of the guys are doing. We can probably go into for a uh, mm, trading post mm, uh, for now. Okay, it's not gonna get lost the production anyway. Okay, so in this one, uh, yeah, we're going for a galleon now. Now that we have navigation, so yeah, I was moving a little forward to to make sure that the Roman doesn't keep possession of that new expansion they, they just built. Remember that I can record the whole whole game because it's too long. I want to record for three hours in a row, or two hours, who knows. So I'm just trying to skip up some boring parts um, to, to keep as more interesting as possible. Um, so we got our first army of catapults with our army of archers, and we're moving forward and trying to take advantage of that one. And uh, the Roman is still peace with us, so let's let's take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Should be able to take it uh, quite easily. Yeah, they have pigments, which is not bad. Then that means that they have democracy already. Discover. Uh, yeah, look at all the science and food that we have in that one so oh. surprise surprise okay the spanish have some horsemen so ouch that's actually it's gonna hurt big time so let's see what we can do something um uh, no, let's probably stick with the republic so we can expand get a couple more settlers um yeah democracy should be fine all right so i guess that city is going down but what's gonna happen with Devi? <laughs> that's gonna be interesting um uh, yeah why not yeah actually that works pretty good to me we already take care of their their expansion so now we we have peace we roam and we got the city <laughs> It's like a win-win situation for us. Uh, but the Spaniel is the one that is causing all the trouble in here, so we probably might need to start building more archers. Um, rush a couple of those. Yeah, we have a couple. So we should be able to support one or more couple turns. Um, that's why you always need to be careful when you're... Uh, don't leave your capital alone. In this case, uh, I wasn't expecting the Spaniel to move from behind, but in any case, I always leave something. So give me time to to make the adjustment. Uh, but this one, nah, this is not like a really good location, so we're gonna just gonna use it for for mm -hmm. yeah, we're gonna probably start building units. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's start with the barracks. And from there, we're gonna start getting the veteran units and form some decent armies. Uh, Mr. Sulu, I don't wanna give you anything. So, beautiful. We have another. Oh no. Well, at least somebody realized that my civilization is not that crappy after all. I deserve some respect, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna get the archers in here. I need to probably rush it. Um after that let's go back to the trading post that I was trying to build. So now we with that army we should be able to survive those horsemen. Those horsemen are not that strong actually, so yeah you can see this. Um, even with the naval support we 
we were able to hang on. So, um, well, we're not that great in the technology race or the economy race. Actually, it looks like in the cultural race, the German is going first, which is shocking. But usually they go for the domination victory very fast. But it is all right. Okay, so we're going to adjust our workers. Make sure that they're all working. There you go. Because sometimes you you can make those changes. The computer sometimes forget to do it by yourself. And uh, you lost some production or of food. <coughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Spanu. All right, democracy. Uh, I don't think it's... No, we're not going to make the change yet. We're going to wait for a couple more expansions. Let's go for Fellowism. Probably we can be able to get the Knights first. Um, okay, the Spaniard realized that there's nothing nothing going on over there. In this one, we're going to rush the Settler. Uh, there's no point to wait, uh, especially because that city is growing very fast. So we're fine. So let's go for our second expansion. Uh, that city looks pretty fine to me. I got we got die, and I think we got some rubber in there, so the production is gonna get a boost. Mm. Um, but very slow. We're trying to take control of the map and the game, and it is important to not get too crazy at the beginning. Just move and. Uh, as slow as possible, especially in Deity. Deity is not that, it's not simple. Uh, so now we're gonna get some defense. Uh, yeah. Or bum bum bum. Yeah, probably some culture is necessary. Okay, so there's more settler. And yeah, we got rubber, we got die. Let's see. We should be able to have a decent expansion. Not the best in production, but at least in, in science. The islands are always good for science. And, and, and also you can create cities to just pump settlers and let you expand. Because they have easy access to food. The bonus food, actually. So actually, that is a perfect location for our second a city, well, we have three because we captured one from the Roman, but um, yeah, so far, so good. So far, the we are taking control of this area, and we're gonna, of course, build a defense before doing anything else. Mm. We have a lot of production with the rubber in there. You can see, you have like a five hammers, it's always, always good, and that's the exactly what we're looking for as a Indian to take advantage of all those extra bonuses, extra resources. Okay, so we have the Phillies, we have the first night. That's awesome. That's also giving him an idea of what kind of units the the other guys are have right now. So now that we know that we have the bonus, that means that we are the only one with knights. Uh, we can probably start building a small army and trying to take control of the the this area completely okay we're gonna keep the knights in there in a good location for defense give me some idea if somebody's coming from behind again that was a smart move for the spaniel oh um, yeah so far so good we got the barracks going we're gonna start pump pumping some veterans units soon uh, building some defense in our new Expansion. Um, yeah, and now we're gonna start probably pumping some some knights just to be able to defend my cities um, effectively. We're gonna keep that one in there. Let's see if we can find any other goodies, maybe a landmark or something. Uh, not really. Also, it's important to keep an eye on the what kind of expansions you're enemy is trying to which area th they're trying to control yeah it looks like the, the German is going for culture no matter what all right so let's continue the next video uh, yeah, so far we're in the middle of the race but uh, we're still alive <laughs>